Well, welcome back to the channel. I have a new project today. An old uh, old anvil. I've done some welding on it in the past. Um, just kind of playing around. This is the first time I went, I've actually welded one of these. Today, what I wanted to do, I noticed this. Uh, I don't know what you want to call this lip was missing from this side so this anvil must have got a lot of use so today what I want to do is go ahead and lay some beads of weld in here so I've got some 6013 rod and then I've got some uh, hard facing rod which is what uh, which is what I've done on another anvil and it worked out well so I'm going to use filler metal if you look at the instructions on this welding rod it says you can only go two passes on the hard facing and I've of course went more just to see what happens and it cracks so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and then probably fill some of this in with the 6013 rod and then I think over here I may just touch it up with that hard facing rod again I don't need this to be a, a perfect sharp edge 90 and then uh, the, the real goal is 6013 here so first thing I want to do is really clean this metal up so I'm going to use the wire wheel clean this up and then uh, you need to heat this up I think this is a probably wrought iron base with a hardened top on it so you want to make sure that you heat this up and what I've seen with these anvils is you heat it up to around 400 degrees I don't have a stick or the grease pencil to do that so I'm just gonna you know do it by touch anything's better than just you know doing it at ambient temperature because what happens is you'll get this whole localized heat area and then it, it can split and crack on you so I want to get this as hot as possible I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, little torch for that all right so the tools for this I'm going to heat it with my, uh, I don't know, weed killer, LP propane weed killer, whatever you want to call that. It's an LP tank that will start to start that. I have my, uh, my welder over here. It's a Maxi Star 140 from an estate sale. Obviously, you're going to need welding rods and a grinder. So I have a nice, a nice six inch Metallo grinder. Again, here are the rods. Um, one of the tricks I learned is take your rod, cut it in half, so it's a lot easier to get in here and to work. So this is all cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and start heating this up a little bit. I'll try to catch some of that on video, and then I want to get into welding. Well, that didn't work. we we'll rely on the old uh, dramatic torch. You can get, heat this as hot as I can get it. You can see a ring of water. The LP puts uh, a lot of moisture in it. So we'll get this as hot as we can get it, and then uh, we'll start welding. All right, so there's the first couple beads of weld on there. And I'm sure there'll be people are going to be saying, "Why are you? You shouldn't be doing that to this anvil." Um, I think when I'm gone, my kids aren't going to care about it. I want this thing to function, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do to make this thing work for me. All right, so there's the second pass. We've got some of the metal back in here, starting to build this lip up here. I'll go ahead and do some welding down in here, get that on. Again, I think I'm going to get this as close as I can and um, as flat as I can like this side. And when I'm done, I'll just go ahead and weld probably these just these corners with the hard facing rod. All right, I think I blobbed enough metal in here. What I'm going to do now is use my grinder, my six inch grinder, and try to get an edge on this just to see how much more I need to do. I know I'm going to need more to do here. Maybe I will fill this little section in before I'm done. All right, so there's the first grind. We're pretty level. As soon as I touch metal over here, I know that I'm, I'm level, and I'm sort of level here, so I'm going to go ahead and, where do we go here? I'm going to go ahead and fill this area in, flatten all that off, and then start making, uh, I have to build this, this area up as well. We've got a little more welding to do, a little more of the 6013, basically base metal. And then we'll finish off with the uh, hard, hard face. All right, so this is a general shape, a general repair of it. A lot more fudging to do here. Now it's just going to be chasing um, things like that until it's all smooth. I want to get everything to be as flush as it is here. So I need to go ahead and weld this area. And I, I need to build all this up, cut that off. So more welding.
All right, so here's what I'm using for the hard facing. Lincoln Electric happens to be the local dealer in my area. Wear, wear Shield ABR, this is 1 8 by 14 inches. I really need to know much more than that. Um, but again, it's a hard facing rod. It's a lot different. It's a lot, just looks darker. I would say like more carbonish, but that's probably not the case. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put a bead on this edge. Because really what I, I want, to, I want this side to be hard and I want the top to be hard. So I'm going to go ahead and just weld uh, a, a quick bead on that. All right, so there's a bead of the hard facing on there. Really looks like uh, any other weld. We'll go ahead and grind it off and see what it looks like. All right, I'm putting the final shape on top. I've done a weld here with that hard facing. So now I'll have a nice edge for pounding this way and this way. If you just use the, um, the farmer's rod, it's actually good. you're going to get dings in it. I made that mistake uh, another place on the anvil. So we're going to go ahead and just keep chasing some cracks here, ch chasing some fillings. We'll fill it up and uh, I think I want to build this section up just a little bit. Probably use that 6013 rod to start with and then we'll finish it up. All right, we'll get pretty much to the end of it. I have this whole side. A little bit. So this whole side has been welded with the, we call it farmer's rod, 6013, and then it's been faced um, on top and bottom. That should be a pretty good edge for hammering on. Um, this has all been faced. I need a little cleanup down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to mess around with that or not. I don't know about to do with that. Maybe just a little, a little tack up in here. But again, this has all been, um, some people call it a studi, S-T-O-O-D-Y for, a, again, a hard-faced rod. This just happens to be the one that Lincoln uses. Maybe just run two beads here, real quick beads, and then uh, hit it with a flapper, and I think I'm done with the project. All right, so that's where I ended up. Again, from not having this whole lip, edge, whatever you want to call it, I'll build up with 6013, and then the um, hard-facing rod. So that's it. I'm gonna hit with this, the flapper sander. I find a couple other places here that were just um, a little low. So I had, again, I had gone through with the 6013 and filled in the heavy stuff. I ground that out and put another layer of the um, hardened face rod on there. I mean, there's still some more work to do on the anvil, but for today, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I got done. So one of the ways I know I have uh, solid metal, I'll do a ring test. You can see how, how high it bounces. I'm getting the same type of ring. Probably a little better bonds. Well, that's about the same bonds. And then over here, where I haven't done anything to it. So even on these welds, I'm getting the same type of bonds, same type of ring. So if you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.